It's another day at sea on our Odyssey of the Seas cruise. We are on our way to Aruba. It takes two days at sea to get there because it's really far south. And uh, you know, this is a Southern Caribbean cruise leaving from Florida, so it takes a while to get there. First thing this morning is... Uh, Cafe 270, because I'm hungry and want breakfast. But after that, they have a pop-up escape room. There is no real full escape room on Odyssey of the Seas, but they have this pop-up escape room, I guess. Um, we don't really know, we've never done it. We're about to do it right now, after we eat some breakfast. I'm really glad they have this, because on our last cruise, we missed the escape room and that was tragic and ended in crying. <laughs> Carrie doesn't want to talk about it. She says it's a sad topic. It is sad. They have some cool sandwiches at Cafe 270. Oh, and some like burritos. That's kind of cool. cool. Oh, and then they have the those croissant sandwiches. Yeah, those were good. Here we are in uh, 270 with the 270 degrees of windows around us. And I think we're going to be back here tonight for a show. Oh yeah, it's the book. It's brand new on this cruise ship. People say it's really good. I think this experience is going to be more about like solving puzzles than like getting out of a room. But like same idea of like solving puzzles and stuff. Yeah, it's cool that they're already setting it up. I was a little worried because in the app, this little puzzle experience is not listed but it is listed in the printout version of the of cruise planner. The cruise planner, and that's how we knew about it. So get yourself a printed version. They've started to hide little hints around here, so I don't know what that is, but we're gonna find out when the game starts. You got our evidence. I did, and I'm actually kind of excited because it seems like it's something that just the two of us can do. I was, yes. I didn't want to have to work with people because I hate people. So let's see, what is this? What is this? I don't know if we're allowed to open it yet. But it's evidence. So it's evidence. So there's probably some sort of crime. Yeah, it was in a museum. Oh. I bet that's okay. the person that did it. Wait a second. This is a gorilla because no human could have a fingerprint oh. that big. <laughs> I don't even think a gorilla can. Okay, this was King Kong. <laughs> they really want us to join a team. Yeah, oh, they keep saying, like, you guys are just so... Emma, how are you? But... They don't fantastic, know that we've solved so many escape rooms right? on yeah. our own. We're very, very intelligent. How many have we done? We've done like 30, maybe? Maybe a more. Million. The Mansfield Museum has reported that a priceless piece of art has gone missing at their annual gala. <gasps> to solve the case, what you're going to do is uh, survey the, uh, uh, the area for clues. You're going to analyze the evidence. You're going to put together the pieces and you're going to advise myself and Emma whom to arrest. For you, 45 minutes. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, so in here is six puzzles. I can't even get it out. Help. Wow. So he said to match these guys up with yeah. the things. Okay, okay here. So your police car. So this one, this piece of paper, you had to fold in a certain order. I'm doing this one-handed. It's not really working out well. And then the fingerprint says something. I'm trying to figure what out what it says right now. Okay, so I think it's forgery. I think forgery. I'm gonna see if that's right. See if we can get a major clue with that. Okay, forgery was right. So we got this other major clue. So I'm gonna put this with the other ones. Right, and then okay. So one, two, or and one, three, or six. One of them like they match, and one of them doesn't match. Okay. And I need your help because I've been staring at them. So for the shoe prints on the floor, there's little uh, letters hidden Ladies inside. So there's an S here. So I'm matching them up the there. The okay. I solved the shoe print clue. You did? Uh, it was called imposter. So now I got the major clue for imposter. Wow. I've been working on this like Sudoku that's actually like super hard because you have to do like multiplication and division and stuff. We got two down. We have 30 minutes. We have 30 minutes left. Carrie's working on the Sudoku now. That one's tough. I'm trying to do this crossword number, crossword thing with all these numbers. This one's tough. They're all tough. We have five minutes left. No. It's not looking great. Um, this is the final okay, clue. Okay, only about five and a half minutes left. You want to be uh, working on those connections. This one's really hard. I have like all these witness statements. Um, I can't figure out which person is lying. 
So like I feel like this is our last puzzle. We figured out the other five. And then like this is like the final final puzzle that we kind of need all of the other clues to do, but I'm not sure if we're gonna make it. Okay, you got the Sudoku one. I can do math. Okay. Okay, this is the age of the philanthropist secret girlfriend. So I, we we have 35 seconds left. We need to we need to just make some connections and figure out. The final the final thing is. Okay, uh, you got 30 seconds. Who do we need to warrant? Seconds. And it could be two people. Get your answers in. Get your answers in. Make a stab in the dark if you're not sure. Five. Okay. Four. Looks like we three, didn't finish it. Two. One. Witness number three said that they saw Stephen Lang arguing with the caterer in the gift shop as he was just coming in the entrance across the hall. You could refer to the map and you know there that witness number three was lying because oh. the gift shop is not I wouldn't have across the hall from the entrance. So witness number three was lying, you could throw that one out. So we didn't win. We didn't. But I feel like if we had 10 more minutes, we would have. I agree, because we were like onto something. Yeah. I think we just, we didn't have time to like read everything thoroughly at the end there, which is what was kind of messing us up. Yeah, and then when it gets down to like the last 10 minutes, you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then like you, you can't yeah, finish it. Yeah. Most escape rooms are an hour. Yeah. So like if we had an hour, I think we would have done it. We could have done it. But that was really cool. It was fun, and you know what? I'm glad we did it just the two of us because I don't think I would have wanted to. <laughs> yeah. It seems like with every day that passes, a new holiday thing arrives. Today we have a menorah now in the Esplanade. Happy Hanukkah! I believe the day that we get off the ship is the first night that they'll light a candle for it. So we probably won't get to see it. But anyway, it's cool that they have it. And then there's that banner that we were talking about the other day. A better look at it. I love that they have both, they have Hanukkah and Christmas. Yeah. I love that. Seems like an early Hanukkah this year. I, I mean, I don't know much about it, but. Well, we'll talk to Jessica. Shout okay. out to Jessica. I'm disappointed that we lost or, or didn't complete the challenge. And mostly I'm disappointed because I wanted to prove to the activity director that a team of two could do it. <laughs> and it's not that I didn't make it, it's that I didn't prove him wrong. I kind of feel the same way. <laughs> Now we are heading to Windjammer for lunch. Here's all of our lunch dining options. That's a lot. It is. But, oh, hey, we should get ice cream. That, re that reminds me, we should get some ice cream yeah. here. <laughs> so yeah, we've seen a lot of changes. Like, we can fill up our own cup now. Uh, they're not like counting how many people come into the Windjammer anymore. Um, but they are still like giving you your food at the buffet. Like, it's not self-serve. You just tell them what you want and they put it on your plate for you. It seems like they always have like slightly different things. Like today they have chicken kebabs. Did they have that before? I've had that before. Oh, I didn't see that last time. There's too much to look at. <gasps> they have a loaded baked potato today. Oh my gosh. This is our spot in the Windjammer. I love it. Let me tell you why the Windjammer here is great. It is great. Because there's no lines for the buffet. You just go to whatever station you want to go to. It is nice how it's not like a straight line. It's yeah. like different stations. It makes it easier. Yeah. Anyway, I got the baked potato. I got that bread thing we were talking about the other day. That was uh, next to the ice cream. And then um, some sweet and sour chicken and rice. I think the only difference between yours and mine is that I got like a little slice of pork oh. and obviously lemon cookie. <laughs> I just noticed that None of the tables are blocked off for physical distancing. They're all open now. You're kidding. Things are changing quickly. They really are. The seas are totally flat now. Can't feel the ship moving at all. This is the way to cruise. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um, little cloudy. Obviously, we're, we keep going more and more south. There was a cold front, cold front um, hitting Florida like about this time. Really? Um, but it is 81 degrees right now. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> so after this, uh, I think we're doing the slot machine tournament. So we can't film that. Um, but just know that we'll probably we'll probably win. So probably like millions, <laughs> millions of dollars. So we'll probably see you after that. Well, I won our round, but there was seven rounds, and I didn't even break the top ten of the scores. So 
we didn't win. So. Yeah, but he did a really good job because he beat out everybody in our round, which means he beat, you know, 10 people. So that's good. Basically, you just hit the button as fast as you can. It's And then your arm starts to hurt because it's like um, Toy Story Midway Mania where it's like you just can't physically hit the button anymore. It's all like a, it's a random who wins kind of. Yeah, because there's also like little things that pop up on the screen. And you have to tap those. And like some yeah. of them are worth more points than others. And it's like, what if I just don't get, you know, the money man <laughs> that's going to like make me in the lead? So, you know, whatever. Now what do you want to do? I want to go to the pool because I just want to chill. And I want to use one of my diamond drink vouchers because I haven't done that yet. And I want a nada colada. Let's go. While we try to find a spot for the pool, we thought we'd give an overview of this amazing pool deck that we, they have. Over here, we have the kids section. Then we have a hot tub over there on deck 15 with the clear side. Another hot tub over there. And then the big pool here, we call this the party pool because there's always lots of music and lots of kids and it's very busy all the time here. For sure. This is what we call the quiet pool. I believe the ship refers to this officially as the forward pool. Okay, we like this pool yeah, because this it's just quiet and calm. You can always find a chair. And despite there being a TV, it's not that loud. Yeah, and um, they have the chairs in the water, which we love, those are our favorite. Um, there's also the hot tub down there, and then the hot tub with the clear side behind you. And then um, over here is actually the suite sun deck and even though we're in a junior suite we do not get access to that so we got to pay a little bit more to be in like grand suite or something so we can get in here yeah but it does look really nice also uh so this is where the north star is and so like i think this thing is part of the north star and it provides a lot of shade yeah i really like it and i also like when the north star goes up if you're laying in one of those pool chairs yeah. you can see it you're and it looks it. neat it is so cool um, but yeah, lots of shade everywhere, um, amazing pool ducks. Okay, now to the solarium. Now we're in the adults only solarium section. It is gorgeous, peaceful, tranquil, calm in here. The it's pool like, really is always kind of empty. Yeah. Like, the only difference is that the AC is kind of pumping in here, so it's like a little colder, Yeah. but I like it in here. Yeah, there's four levels of the pool that like cascade down. Um, it is always empty, but there is always at least one person in the pool at all times, which is this person right here. I will say the hot tubs in here are always pretty packed. Yeah, let's go take a look at the hot tubs. I think this is where we're gonna be sitting is these chairs. <laughs> no one's here, which is cool. I love it. Um, and then there's the hot tub over there. And then on the other side here, right by the, um, the bridge wings where you can look out. For sure. I'm hungry. It's dinner time, and let me just say this. We don't have a reservation. <laughs> this was dumb, but we really want a Zoomie, so we're gonna try something. We're gonna go up that, to them, we're gonna beg, we're gonna ask nicely and see if we can get in the Zoomie reservation for right now. They open at 5.30, and it's 5.21, so I think our chances are good. Yeah, I feel like if we look cute and desperate, they might let us. Okay, practice your, like, um, your puppy dog look. But you're doing all the talking because, you know, you've got the, the gift. No, account. I really don't. <laughs> you should just be like, um, I have a YouTube account. <laughs> uh, I'm an influencer and if you want a good review. <laughs> we got in. This is like the best scene in the house. Thank you. Well, this is really cool. This is super neat. We're sitting right at the sushi bar. I love it. Fun fact. Oh, they said that they are not using this because of COVID, but now they are. That's starting now. Yeah, starting now. We're like the second people to have sat here. Cool. I feel very special. So tonight, we have a lot of things to do. Lots is going on. Lots is going on. <laughs> Lots is going on. First, we're going to try to get into the magic show. We don't have reservations. Typical of us now. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot. It's actually an illusionist. It's different. Oh. Really different. Then after that, we have this book in 270. Yep. We have reservations for that. Yeah. And then after that, karaoke. It's called like karaoke round one. So it makes it sound like it's like a competition. So I'm going to, you know, win the whole thing. 
You're gonna put the carry in karaoke. <laughs> I sure am. Okay, so you, what's your game plan? My game plan, I have two. Number one, I'd like to sing Olivia Rodrigo's driver's Wait, license. Wait, really? Yes, because, you know, right now it's very in. I, what happened to your other? Hold on, I'm not done talking. Okay. <laughs> But I feel like it's really new, so I don't know if it will even be in their like karaoke repertoire yet. Um, so if it's not, Alone by Heart is one of my go-to. I sung it in my high school talent show, so that's going to be like my backup. And I'm going to win. Whole thing. First thing, the crispy shrimp roll with the fork because I'm white, I guess. Okay, and... The camera eats first, but I was hungry, so... So you ate first. I <laughs> ate first vegetable fried rice. I've gotten this a couple of times now. Which one is it? The crispy shrimp roll. Okay. This is in the top 10 best Royal Caribbean food. You're going to have to complete your list because you said those croutons were the other night. I know, that's in there too. But yeah, like other things we have like... The sandwich. The cocoa, chicken sandwich. We ha that's probably number one. Um, the turkey. On night seven, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else is on there? I don't know. Stay tuned. Okay, we both got this one. This is... Chicken teriyaki. I've had it before, but you haven't. It looks so good. This was a very important dinner topic for us. We created the official list of ten. Tell us about them, Brian. Okay. Number one. Shack chicken sandwich. Snack shack. Snack shack. Coco Key. Obviously. This is something that, you know, we watch, we watch our own videos. I know that may be shocking to hear. Um, and when we go on another cruise and we go, okay, how good was that chicken sandwich really? And then we bite into it and we're like, holy crap, like, why is this so good? And we do that every time. We do. We do. Number two, Garlic Knots, Giovanni's Kitchen, Freedom of the Seas. Delicious. Amazing. Super. Number three, Epic Brownie, Jamie's, Ovation of the Seas. That was a brownie with... Um, popcorn. It had, yeah, like caramel popcorn and like caramel... Popcorn gelato. Yeah. Next, Playmaker's Burger. Oh, so good. We've had that on this ship and on Freedom. Equally good. Yeah. Number five, Crispy Shrimp Roll. We have had that on Adventure, Ovation, now Odyssey. Consistently good. Excellent. And number six... The night seven turkey dinner. So good. Main dining room. We're about to experience that with Thanksgiving. Yeah. Number seven, the night seven brownie. So in the same meal. In the same meal. But that one's so good for dessert. Yeah. Number eight, the crouton from last night at Chop. Chops. And that's in the Caesar salad. Get, to get extra croutons, trust me. <laughs> um, number nine, Giovanni's pizza. We've had that at... Um, we're, Freedom. Yeah, and we've had multiple flavors. And we had there. a Vienna night here. Yeah. It's amazing. Like, it's better than, like, Via Napoli at Epcot. Like, um, it's good. I would have to have them, like, right next to each other. Yeah, for sure. It's we really should do good. that sometime. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> and then the last one was mine. Last night at Chops, I had, um, I think it's called, like, the, the bacon. pepper bacon. It's so good. So that one I included on the list. That's the only one I haven't had. Yeah. But I guess I'll trust you. It was really good. This was really good, the chicken teriyaki. Where is it? It's all gone. Well, I ate all mine and some of yours. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that one's no good. Okay, so here's our formal photo. That looks so awkward. After dinner, we went to go download our photos from formal night, and we sent them to our parents. Then, madness ensued. Due to our attire, our parents thought we had eloped and were trying to zoom in on our hands to check for wedding rings. We didn't find out about this until after the cruise. Don't worry, we didn't elope. Clearly, I shouldn't have worn a white dress. Now, Brian never wants to do formal night again. Okay, now we're, now we're gonna try to sneak into the show without a reservation, but we have a backup plan because we were just chatting with one of the guys upstairs. He hosted the puzzle, the mystery puzzle this morning and yeah. he remembered us. Well, <laughs> it pays to make a friend because our friend let us in without a reservation. Oh my god, shout out to Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is our first time in the theater on Odyssey of the Seas. But yeah, this is the um, illusionist. So the thing is, is like downstairs is uh, vaccinated only and um, you don't need a mask. 
but up here you do need a mask and then they block off every other row and then they have reserved i'm i'm okay with this you know yeah. we get into the show but we're with the the unvaccinated we just finished up the magic show and immediately ran over here to 270 to see the book 270 has been transformed and it, it's like there's a lot of books everywhere and it's, it looks like a we're in this guy's office or like a library or something like that. Very busy in here. We got some of the last seats. We're sitting by the library for a show about oh, books. Oh my god. There's the library behind me. <laughs> it's perfect. Everyone has been saying, you gotta see the book, you gotta see the book. So now we're here. So this better be good. The magic show was it was okay. The illusionist. It was good. He was kind of like a comedian and an illusionist. So that was yeah. fun. I like the comedy more than the magic. He didn't really do that much magic. No, he didn't. It was like more comedy. Yeah. Adventure of the sea. Well, we just finished up watching the book. Um, Tell us what you think, Brian. Not what I was expecting. No. It was like, like it was a music thing, like dancing to music and singing. It, should I be surprised? <laughs> I don't mean I don't know. But I thought it was. Wait. This is the this is the first floor. I don't know where I'm going. We're heading to um to sign up Carrie for karaoke. <laughs> karaoke. Um. But yeah, I. Uh, Oh, it turns out that was the first time that cast had ever performed the show. That is impressive. The cast always impresses me, and the royals tech always impresses me. But yeah, it was kind of like, like, like Bollywood with acrobatics and like, I don't, what else, like, a contortionist. <laughs> it was a little bit random to me because there was like a contemporary dance song, and then they sung like Skyfall by Adele, and like Roar by Katy Perry. So it was like all over the place. Did you like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I did not like it. I, again, really like the performers, really like the technology. Royal just needs to like fix their content. Because to me, it's a book. And they had like different chapters, but it wasn't telling the same story at all. Well, like there was also like a Harry Potter song. <laughs> <laughs> it just it didn't make sense to me. Okay, so you gotta go look at the song list. Yeah, I'll see what I find. You don't like the song selection so far. Oh, well, I had three songs that I had in mind, and they didn't have any of the three. Okay. So I really I need to rethink things. Okay, so you're looking through your Spotify now. Yeah. Okay, so she said that this is like a competition. There's a uh, night one tonight and then night two. The winners from night one and two will go on to the final, which is at the end of the cruise. And you have to do the same song that you do in the final that you have to, when you do so. The other problem but. is like, it's based on audience. So it's gonna be like the drunk person what? who's like really fun. And I'm just like the Disney princess, you know? Okay, but there's also a judge, they said. I just wanna say on the record, I thought the book was good. Compared to the other royal shows we've seen, I think it's good. I'm glad you said that because, you know, everybody else in the audience seemed to really enjoy it. I think yeah. it was just me. Let It Go is so typical, though. I know, but that's why the, the fans are going to love it. But look, the audience is older. We were saying that you got to pick something for an older audience. I know, but they didn't have my alone. What I could else? go for Total Eclipse of the Heart. How does that one go? Turn around every now and then I get yeah. it is that a duet one? Um, the turnaround part kind of is. Okay, but the rest is... The rest is just the girl. I mean... That might be good. I think they're going to pick four winners, so I think you have a shot. Oh my Jesus. By the way, we're in the music hall here. On deck three. And it goes up to deck four up there. Carrie's still looking through her... She's I just feel, I feel so much <laughs> pressure. Carrie's in her uh, Broadway playlist on Spotify. I don't know what they have and I don't know what I sound good. And there's like a giant list and he said, okay, if you have something, just type it in the system. And then and it's like, 
Ugh. I told the nice people up there that I was looking for Disney, that I sound like a Disney princess, and they helped me out. First they were like, I know we have um, a whole new world from Aladdin, and then he was like, oh, you gotta get Brian up here to do it. And I was like, I don't think he's gonna go for that. Then they say, I know we have something from Hercules, and they type it in, and it's Go the Distance, which is the guy's song. I can't do that. So then they were like, we've got something from Moana, and it's How Far I'll Go, and I was like, that is perfect. So that's what I'm signed up to do. Okay, that's good. Yeah. You have a secret weapon. Do I? Yeah, you have to pee, and this is gonna help you perform. <laughs> it's like a, this is what true Broadway performers do, is they hold in their pee and it gives them more energy. Yeah. Is that true? Um, in like TV shows, like Joey did that in an episode of Friends, and it worked out for him, but I don't know about reality. TV is reality. I'm nervous. Opening night jitters. No. You had a curveball, that was a remix. Oh my god, it was, it was the Alexis, whatever the person's name. It was the other girl who sings it. That wasn't fair that it was a remix. Whatever. But you did good though. I messed up the line. <laughs> There's lyrics on the screen and I messed up. You were robbed because like when, when that O O O part came up, I'm like, I have never heard that. I literally had no idea how it went, so I was just like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but like also. When the backing track first came on, I was like, this is kind of weird. It was like, off. It was totally off. I figured, like, because Disney has a lot of copyrights on things, that kind of makes sense. <sighs> but I also just didn't sound good. But it was a competition, and we just left. Yeah. So. <laughs> Here's the thing is, I think the winner is going to be, like, whoever's, like, goofiest. I agree. Whoever's, like, a weirdo. And that's like, just not me. It's going to be, like, a competition of, like, who's the funniest. Yeah. We're heading back to the room right now. And... I hope we have a Gus towel animal. Anything, anything. We have only had one this whole trip. I need one. I don't care if it's the small ship, which is like the lamest one. I don't even care if it's that. <gasps> it's the same. Wait, what? This is the same one that we had. Okay, that's what we look, had before. Look, I saved him before. Obviously I saved it before and it's the alien dog. We've had that before. I think he only knows how to make one towel animal. But the face... The face is different. The face is different. Let's look at the face. Let's... Let's, um, let's analyze. Here, let me yeah, take this put, face. Put him <laughs> over here. Oh, you can't just eat, behead him like that. Um, easy to do. <laughs> Wait, no, stop. Okay, here's his body. Maybe they're brothers or something. So this one's a... That one's this is a rabbit. This is a bulldog. And that this is actually a rabbit, and I don't think we've had that before. <laughs> okay. But, You're wait. grasping at straws. No, I'm saying that th we've had this before, which is the bulldog. No. What? You, we've had that. Let's go back and analyze every single video we've ever made. I think we've had that one and not that one. Okay, I don't know. It's the perfect time to go to the hot tub now. Look how cool this pool looks at night. It looks awesome. We've been wanting to go night swimming since the hours are so much better on this cruise. We just haven't gone around to it yet. That pool is closed right now. So is that hot tub. The hot tub below us is open, but there's people in it. Ugh. That one is open. There's people there. But we think the one down here will be open. But yeah, we need to uh, figure out our plan for Aruba tomorrow. We have decided to not do an excursion and to do something on our own, which is something we've never done before. This is perfect. Solarium hot tub all to ourselves. Nice. This is going to be cool. I'm going to think it's too cold and you're going to think it's too hot. So it's perfect. So yeah, in Aruba, we're renting a car and we're going to go tour all around the island by ourselves. So we need to figure out where we want to stop, where we're going to eat and all that stuff. This place so many places on the ship look so cool at night and you know this pool this pool is closed right now by the way but they let one person stay in here like all night i just wish i was her she gets to be in the pool after hours okay we're in the solarium hot tub we just finished our aruba planning for tomorrow morning it's getting late but we had to figure out all the places we wanted to go and all the places we wanted to drive through drive to before we're there in a car and like we need to figure out where we're going. But since it's getting late and we have to wake up early, it's time for us to go night. And by the way, look how cool it is in here. This place is awesome. It's it's really cool at night and it's really cool being here, just us.
In our next video, we arrive in Aruba, where we rent a Jeep for the day and explore amazing sights all around the island.